If you don't have a code editor yet, I recommend Visual Studio Community 2022. We can download it for free off of the Microsoft website. Grab their Visual Studio installer, and we will need to install a couple of components with our Visual Studio. The first one is .NET Desktop Development. This will allow us to work with C Sharp, and the second one is Razor Language Services, which will make it easier to work with Razor template files for when we are creating user interfaces. And now we can switch over to the Sandbox Editor and use the Project Explorer to create a new game. We'll leave the project type set to game. We'll give it a title. This is just the name of your game. Ident and location are auto-filled. You can change these if you would like. The editor's launcher bar makes it easy to load into any of your games. Let's pick the one we just created and open it up. When you create a new game, it is initialized with a very basic template. Let's open this up in Visual Studio and have a look at the code. You can right click your game in the Project Explorer and click Open in Visual Studio. A C-sharp project will automatically be created and you can find it in Visual Studio's Solution Explorer. This is where you will write code for your game. I'm going to modify this slightly so that we are throwing watermelons instead of ragdolls. Pressing save will trigger a hot load and we will see a notification pop up telling us that the hot load succeeded. We can go back in the game and see our changes instantly. Let's put an intentional error in the code so we can see how that looks. Pressing save will attempt to trigger a hot load, but it will fail and you will see the error notification. We can go to the error list panel inside the sandbox editor to get more details about this. Double click that specific error to jump to that line in code and fix the problem.